Hello YouTube, and welcome back to more Devil May Cry. This is part six. Okay, mission ten. Canyon of the Mist. I also unlocked the air hike. I need to do some more experimenting with that. Just to um, get it right. Um, I'm going to save my orbs. I, I need um, more orbs to get what I want. And... Yeah, I think the air hike is locked to the sword weapon, so I'm going to switch to the sword. And break out the uh, punching fist where I need him. There we go, air hike. That's the flexibility I know and love from Dante. Oh, oi! If you want to go, we can go. But just let me know that you brought this on yourself, good sir. Oh, I, I think I remember this area. I'm getting a, a, a spark of memory from my brain from about 10, 15 years ago. This is... Uh... Like a lost wood sort of puzzle. You have to go the right order in order to get to where you need to go. So it's either left or right, it's a pain in the ass, and it's. can be quite frustrating and quite confusing. But I'm gonna try left. Okay, so it wasn't left. But the enemies do respawn, so this is a chance to grind up as many orbs as you want. But bearing in mind, the longer you take, the worse your grade will be for this mission. Okay. That was weird. What am I doing wrong here, game? Uh, do I need to kill all the enemies first? That might be it. I'm excited for this year besides Legends Arceus and uh, Kirby's Forgotten Land and Digimon Survive. I mentioned those three games in the previous episode. Once again, Happy New Year everyone! I'm really happy to be back playing this game. I, it's something I definitely enjoy this game. It's simple combat, uh, gothic architecture, and the fact that this is this is um, sort of like a beta of Resident Evil 4.
Right, was there any more enemies? Okay, the, the music getting quieter. Oh! Right. Let's see if I can do this right now. So, talk to this. Yeah, some kind of riddle. Got to do the right path. So the orb is going to the left. So you got off all the orb. And you must kill the enemies and also read the, read the stone. Oh! Looks like the Reapers are back. And, and they are not happy to see me. Well, the feeling's mutual. I'm not happy to see you either. I can still hear demonic cackling. Oh, wrong way. Crap. D demonic cackling laughter. Here. If I read it, can I just bypass the entire fight? I can, and it appears to be randomized every time. So you can't just memorize the um, sequence and, and go for it. Okay. What games have I been playing lately? A lot. And I do mean a lot of Dev of uh, Dragon Quest 7. I've been playing that game a lot. I, I, I was I wanted to finish it before the end of January and I did it. So my first game that I finished this year, finally was Dragon Quest 7. Overall, I had a good time with the RPG, but it's a very long Dragon Quest game. It was my first run through, so it was about 110 hours it took me. I got lost quite a lot, so maybe I could have done better. If I knew what I was doing, yeah, I had to guide at a few points, but... But... Overall, I had fun with the game, and I... Definitely enjoyed it. Oh! The lizards are here again. Crap. There, were, there was too many of them. Right, let's just try it again. Right, where have you put me, game? Oh, you ba you put it back here again! Oh, well, at least you let me keep my red orb. That's, that's at least um, some leaking thing. Right, let 
a while to Oh! I've just noticed that if you kill the enemies, the um, white orb... The, the enemies sort of um, kidnap the white orb for a little while, then you have to kill the enemy in order to get the white orb so you know where you're going. That's interesting. So the game insists on you killing things and the combat and stuff like that. Which makes sense, this game is a hack and slash. Right. Other games I'm excited for this year. Um, it would be nice to see at least some sort of trailer for Metroid Prime 4. Because that is a game that I am... I'm excited to play when it eventually gets near Nintendo. I mean, take your time, make sure it's good. But I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it when it finally gets here. And it would be nice to even get uh, like a short one minute trailer to this year. I'm styling and profiling all over you guys. Don't make me get the grenade bombs out because I will blow your faces off. going so I think I lost the orb in all that um, violence and bloodshed and confusion um, I'm gonna try right Okay, I'll be right back, people. Okay, and we're back. Alright, let's see. Let's try this again. This time, I'm going to try and focus on just getting through the winding path rather than killing the enemies. Combat in this game is fun, but I think this is the time where I just need to focus on figuring out the this nonsense. Come on, give me back my orb. I need to know where I'm going. Alright, in that case, I think I need to go this, go this way. That's where I last saw the orb go. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, first, 
take out this guy. There it is, there it is, don't lose it, don't lose it. I'm not liking this mission at all. It's it's frustratingly designed. And you can't always tell where the orb is. And you can't just kill the enemies before you get the orb because on the later parts of the path you can't rely on that. And the orb seems to be drawn towards the enemies, so that's just great. Okay, it's going this way. And we're booking it, guys. The orb is going left, so we're going... Oh, okay, now it's going right. See, it's an even change direction mid... Mid fight. Okay, it just went left. It... I thought it was going to go left, then it decided to go right. Okay, the orb's going left. Okay, this is definitely the right way. This environment's different than a giant spider! Well, I'm gonna use my Devil Star. Him to hell. Okay. Come 
more health over here. Alright, what we got? Some nice holy water. Lovely. Always welcome in my pockets. Oh! More, more spiders! You can tell the people who've made Resident Evil actually worked on this game with all the uh, insectoid-like enemies. Right, that's our way forward, but first I'm gonna search this uh, gothic architecture, see if there's any more things. I'm just trying to think of what other games I'm excited for this year. Well, um, I mean there have been rumours of um, Mario Kart 9. I suppose I'm excited in some way. But there's also been rumours of a Mario... Oh, mission complete. That's good. A, a D rank. Yeah, I expected a D rank because of my... Cause that, that puzzle is not an easy puzzle, guys. You've got the... You've got the confusion of the orb, you've got the added confusion of the enemies, and then the added confusion of the orb changing direction by swapping from enemy to enemy. It's... Uh, it's just a mission that demands that you do multiple playthroughs to get it right. Anyway. Mission number 11. Fate. Offer the chalice to open the path. Right. Let's do some powering up before we start this mission. Uh, I'm going to go on to the sword. And... Ooh! I can fly. That's interesting. Throw a sword like a boomerang. You will use red orbs to master this skill. Okay. Right, I'm going to go for air raid. That sounds good. It lets me fly. And... I'm also going to get myself round trip and let me throw my sword around. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that for now. Uh, I'm going to switch back to my handguns. This enemy is way too fast. Come here. Kind of a weird one. It, it sort of fades in and out of um, reality, and its graphical effects are a little bit, um, well, more of a little bit uh, disoriented. can drain your health in one fast combo because that's what it's capable of ouch is there more 
more than one. It, it, it sure feels like there is. you at all. Okay. And the blue shiny object. I wouldn't mind getting whatever that is. Okay, there's two blue shiny objects. Right, I'm going to have to figure this area out. One of Devil May Cry's weaknesses is the camera angles. It's it has the same camera from Code Veronica, so it's it's a combination of fixed camera angles and also 3D cameras. Okay, and up here we've got another Devil Star. Let's just drop down here and drop down here. And our first item is a blue orb, orb fragment. Got two of those now. We can use that to extend our health, from what I remember. Now I'm going to just head over to the other side of the room and see if I can figure out... This one. Uh, to the right, no. Yeah, this camera's starting to screw me up a little bit. And there's... Okay, rather weirdly, there's also an, a hole in the floor. down here guys I'm just passing through you know we don't have to be like this we could be friends okay 
Okay, grab some more red orbs. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh! There's a crack in this wall. Oh, and one, two, three more lizards waiting to carve my body up. So that's fine. Don't lock this guy into the wall, along with his brother. Okay. There's another blue orb fragment down here, apparently. Must have been within one of those lizard men. Right. Bingo! That's how you do it. And this is... The sign of... Cast... Cast a thing? Uh... Testodramic organ coated by crystal within is a sign of chastity that necessary for Searching a, a, a chalice. Okay. To me, it looks like a brain. It looks like a a, 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 a a mushy brain. Okay, up here there's some secret orbs. Sadly, you cannot smash the window and just get out. So you have to go back down through the hole and stab the bouncer again. One second, guys. You can, you can die in a moment. I just need my shotgun. Two barrels of convenient disruption. Okay. I think that was all of them. Right, I'm gonna save my orbs till the end of the mission to figure out what to buy. Right, so I searched down there, came through that door, I got the orb, I mean, I got the blue fragment from the left hand side. And there's a platform here which I haven't used yet, so let's see what you do. Okay, it allows me to access certain orbs. Right, I'll just have a read of this. Okay, so some sort of inscription about a chalice. Alright, just quickly reset that platform and then go grab the other orbs. I'm a little bit at a, at a loss of which door to go through first, the top one or the bottom one. So I am trying to look for secrets. More health, more devil trigger, and also more orbs. Uh, I'm gonna try the bottom one first. Okay. Where am I now? Okay. 
Right, I'm gonna figure out this area next time, YouTube. So next time on Devil May Cry, we shall explore this area and figure things out. See you guys then. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.